Ayyub was a, was a prophet of God. He lived in a, a town called Hauran, which is in Syria. He married a woman by the name of Rahma, uh, and she was from the family of Yusuf. And Ayyub himself was from the lineage of the prophets of God. Uh, Ayyub was a very, very, very wealthy man. He was someone who Allah had blessed in every type of blessing that you can imagine. In his health, he was uh, handsome, he was uh, in perfect health, his wife was young and, uh, and beautiful, uh, he had lots of children, and he had um, huge cultivation, hundreds of acres of, of land, on which he had thousands of, of uh, heads of cattle. The scholars mentioned that he had uh, a thousand goats, he had a thousand sheep, he had a thousand camels, he had a thousand heads of cattle, of, uh, of cows, he had 1,000 or more uh, heads of uh, camels. So subhanAllah, he had so much uh, wealth and he had over 500 families that used to work for him. So what, hap what happened? Ayyub was obviously a prophet of God, so he was extremely generous. Uh, there was no one in the city of Hauran except that they would come to Ayyub and that he would find uh, a, a, some sort of help. So there was no beggar except that they would find Ayyub would, would give them something. And Ayyub والسلام, the more he gave, the more Allah gave him. Yeah? So his wealth was increasing, his health was getting better, um, his children were, were bright and sharp and beloved. His uh, wife used to work in the, uh, in the crops, uh, uh, tilling the mill, uh, and children would, uh, would milk, the, milk the animals and, and sell, sell their meat. And uh, well, Alhamdulillah, he was very wealthy, very well off, very happy man. So what, hap what happened? Well, we have this arch enemy that we have, and that is Shaitan. Shaitan used to see Ayyub والسلام, in such a blessed state. And the same jealousy that he felt for Adam, he felt for Ayyub. So it was out of jealousy the shaitan decided to come and whisper to all the people of Hauran that the reason why Ayyub is the way he is is because Allah has blessed him. Yeah? He only worships Allah because you know what Allah gave him wealth. I mean you watch. Allah takes it away from him. He's going to get sour and angry at Allah and he's going to say nah, Allah is not worthy of my worship. So he began to spread rumors amongst the people. So people began to think that yeah that's why, that's why he's you know he doesn't have any worry. We have worries. We have to toil and work hard and our children are sick and hungry. Whereas, you know, Ayyub, yeah, that's why he's a prophet of God. You know, it's a, if we had the same wealth, we'd be prophets of God too. We would also thank Allah. This is how they used to speak. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to test Ayyub just to not only raise the status and level of Ayyub, but also to show the people that Ayyub والسلام, was not worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala simply because of the wealth. You know from the hadith of Rasulullah there's a few pointers that we get. Number one, we know that the prophets of God were, were the most tested on this earth. There is no human being that was tested as much as any prophet of God. And how did Allah test him? Allah tested him many ways. Number one, Ayyub was, was praying and then suddenly he heard a scream coming from his fields. A group of people came running, or his servants came running from the fields and said, Oh Ayyub, a group of the people of Hauran have decided to get very angry with us and they have come and they've pillaged your cultivation and your crops. The second thing that happened was that whilst again Ayyub was praying, then a lightning came from the sky, from the sky and, and this was a test from Allah. Allah decided to burn the crops of Ayyub. So the cultivations, the, um, the fruit, trees, the uh, huge acres of Ayyub's land, all of them burnt down until they became like ashes. On top of this, a few more things happened. This, this is just, just the start. His children were all gathered together and they were eating food and they were all inside uh, a particular hut. The roof of the hut fell down and it crushed all the children of Ayyub and so in one go they all passed away. SubhanAllah, can you imagine? You lost your wealth, you lost your, your family. Now you have lost all your children in one go. Who will you bury, who will you cry over, subhanAllah. 
And then the severe test started. What was the severe test? On top of this, Allah began to give Ayyub every type of disease in his body. He had stomach pains. He couldn't eat anything except he had burns whilst he would eat. He couldn't swallow properly. His teeth fell out. His skin started to get old. He had leprosy that started on his skin. He had very severe rheumatoid arthritis from which his bones began to become frail and bend and he started to have uh, all these nodules over his arms and his legs and his skin started to have eczema, very severe eczema, weeping and itching and burning everywhere on his body and this healthy, beautiful uh, businessman who was wealthy and full of life and had, had everything suddenly became the most tested human being of all in the city of Hauran, in fact in the whole uh, world, subhanAllah. So Ayyub salam decided to do one thing. He decided to be patient with Allah Azzawajal. He knew that whatever Allah wanted was good. He knew that if Allah gave him difficulty in this dunya, it was to give him something bigger in the akhirah. And not only that, but subhanAllah, Allah gave him a helper, a wife, a soulmate, and to be with you. And she was a righteous woman and she decided to be patient with Ayyub. She was a righteous woman, stayed with Ayyub throughout the ordeal. Whilst this test was going on, Shaitan began to whisper to the people and say, Hey, guess what? All of this adab came on Ayyub. Must be he has done some sin. The people of Hauran came to Ayyub and said, You've got to get out of my town. You've done something evil. And we are afraid that just like the punishment of Allah has touched you, it will also touch us because you've done something evil. So Ayyub had no choice, unfortunately, but to get out of the town. And so they were thrown out into the desert. So Ayyub, subhanAllah, lost everything, lost his health, his wealth, his children. He lost his house, except his wife, the righteous woman, subhanAllah, who will be his soulmate, inshaAllah, in Jannah, was the only person who stayed with him. So poor Ayyub could not even now, because of his lack of health, could not even get up and do anything at all. So what used to happen is his wife used to go out and go into the land and seek to work in the homes of people. Can you imagine this wealthy woman? Now suddenly she's so poor that now she has to work in people's homes to make a living. So, so one day she came out of her house. No one decided to give her any work. She had nothing she could do. So what did she do? She took her hair, she cut her hair and she sold her hair. And she didn't want her husband to go through distress today of hunger on top of the difficulty of the disease he was in. And she bought some loaves of bread and gave the food to Ayub. And so Ayub saw the bread, saw that she had cut her hair, and she said, SubhanAllah, I'm not going to eat your food. And if I could, I would have hit you a hundred times. So he said that, you know, out of a spate of anger, of course. This was a mistake of Ayub, no doubt. So what happened? So the poor lady started crying. And she said, O oh, Ayyub, ask Allah to end the test. Some scholars say it was 18 years. So one day, Ayyub decides to call upon Allah Azawajal, saying, O oh Allah, verily I've been touched by the shaitan in my body and in my health and in my wealth, and you are the most forgiving, most merciful. So what does Allah say? That Allah Azawajal sent a angel to Ayyub and said, O oh, Ayyub, Allah sends you his salam and he says what an honorable slave you have been by being patient with Allah's decree and he has told me to tell you to hit the earth with your leg so Ayyub hit the earth with the leg and so a spring came up this is a something for you to wash your body so this will cure the sickness from your body so he washed his body from it and his body began to remove all the sicknesses and beautiful drink so he drank the water so from that water Allah fixed his insides so much and how fast was Ayub cured that when his wife had gone out that particular day in order to work in people's homes when she came home she couldn't find Ayub she found this young man who was healthy and had become fixed from his problems so she said hey have you seen my, my husband Ayub <laughs> she couldn't recognize him he was this old guy you know, and he was really sick and he's lying down somewhere. Have you seen him? He was around here in the desert here. So Ayyub said, no, 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 I am Ayyub. Look at me. Allah has fixed me. Allah has given me health. And I'm, it's almost like the you know, fountain of youth, right? So Ayyub became younger and he looked healthier. So 
Ayyub said, also drink from, the, uh, from that uh, spring and wash yourself. So with that, even Rahma, she had become old and now she had regained her energy and she had regained her health. On top of that, look at what Allah says. And so in front of their eyes, Allah resurrected his children as a miracle from Allah. On top of that, Allah gave him more kids, double. And on top of that, Allah gave him back his wealth. So his wealth that was there, the thousands of acres that he had, Allah gave him double and triple on top of that and gave him back the, the servants. It was just a test, brothers and sisters. And to prove to shaitan and to all of the, all the people who had evil thoughts about this prophet, that this prophet of God was not being punished, he was being tested. And look at the test that Ayyub had. It was very severe, but yet Ayyub succeeded. So my brothers, my sisters in Islam, this is the wisdom of Allah Azawajal. If you want to be great in this dunya, it will never happen until Allah tests you. Allah will test you in your health, in your wealth, in your children. And when the test comes, be, be patient. You have to be patient. So take Allah as your friend, brothers and sisters. Just like Ayyub took Allah as his friend. And Allah was only testing him for a small amount of time. The Prophet ﷺ said in the authentic hadith, when Allah loves a person, He loves to test him. If Allah loves you, Allah will love to test you. So He will send you some test. Allah is seeing whether we love Allah more than others or not. It was just a small amount of time. Because right after this difficulty will come amazing amount of mercy. I have good thoughts about Allah. Allah doesn't want to hurt us or harm us. He only wants to test us so that we can see or Allah can show people that this is my true slave. I tested him and he is my best friend. And then soon Allah will give us Jannah in the, in the Akhirah and we'll be with him inshallah. You tested us. You did that because you love us, Ya Rab, not because you hate us. So when the test comes, brothers and sisters, in your life, your children pass away, your parents pass away, uh, you get divorced, uh, you have difficulty from your spouse, your children don't listen to you, you lose your job, whatever difficulty it is in your life, brothers and sisters, have sabr with Allah, have good thoughts about Allah, uh, and your love for Prophet Ayyub alayhi uh, salam, and uh, alhamdulillah, implement this in your life. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.